Hey guys, Sam here from Sam Does That. Uh, today I'm uh, going over our second in the roundup of my favourite uh, Photoshop plugins for web designers. Uh, today we'll be looking at Cut and Slice Me. Uh, it's one of my favourite plugins, again, uh, kind of uh, to work with on a regular basis. I've been working on a lot of web applications recently, and this has been an absolute lifesaver. Um, what it effectively does is it dives through uh, your Photoshop document, it finds anything that you've tagged it with, with a certain kind of flag, and uh, it basically exports every single one of those groups as a separate PNG file with transparency enabled so you don't have to worry about uh, kind of, you know, recropping and resizing your images. It does it all for you. And the really nice thing about Cut and Slice Me is, is you can actually define whether you want to export for iPhone, for Android or for desktop. And if you do uh, kind of support the former, it will actually create um, images for uh, Retina and for standard display. Uh, which is really really nice and same applies to Android it does a high DPI an extra high DPI kind of a low DPI one I think a medium one uh, so it's it, again it kind of suits all it it basically does everything for you which is really really nice again completely free and uh, supported on CS6 so uh, what I've got here is I've got this lovely big button here uh, which is, says awesome on it which is my awesome button um, what I'm going to do is, the way that uh, Cut and Slice Me works is that it goes through your documents and it looks for any groups which are tagged with an at symbol at the end. So I've just literally popped an at at the end of my My Button group there. Uh, then what it, what 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 we do is you open it up on the far right uh, kind of panel here, you click on the Cut All Assets uh, and what it'll do is it'll go through your assets, do a ton of stuff real quick. And if you navigate to the folder which your PSD is saved at, you'll notice that it actually grabs the PSD name and then it's, it kind of prepends it with iPhone assets. So then if you dive through your iPhone assets, what you can see is we've got the mybutton.png and we've got the mybutton two times for retina displays, which is just awesome. Uh, say for example, the really, really nice thing about Cut and Slice Me is, is that it knows that it's been built for web designers. So, uh, say for example here, we've got the My Button, which, you know, I'm a big fan of, it's looking good. But, let's say for example, I wanted to define uh, specific attributes or set specific looks uh, for different modes. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate this one. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to call this one Normal. And I'm going to, let that, that will be my normal state. Uh, I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to call this group, uh, let's call it Hover. Yeah, let's call it Hover. And uh, I'm going to just literally hide these guys so that they're out of the way. So this is our Hover button. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dive into our, our little effects here and I'm going to switch the angle of this gradient around so it's on the other side. And I'll make it a little bit more prominent and a little bit larger. And let's up the outer glow a little bit as well because we want it to be a bit more, a bit fancier. And let's lighten it up a little bit just so we've got something which is a bit more visually pleasing. Yeah, that's looking good. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So that's our uh, so that's our hover state. Kind of looks more like an active state, but I'm happy with that for now. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dive in. I'm going to delete the uh, layers from the My Button uh, folder. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to literally drag and drop these into my uh, My Button folder. Uh, so now I've got two states. I've got normal, uh, which looks a little bit like that, and I've got our hover state, which looks a little bit like that. Now the way that um, the way that Cut and Slice Me knows uh, that the uh, folder is a button or contains all of the states of a button is that you have to define it yourself. So I'm going to be uh, prepending this with underscore btn, and that way uh, it will go through. It will find all of the relevant states. So normal, hover, selected. Um, there's a there's a ton of other ones uh, on the uh, which are featured on the website actually. Uh, normal, hover, clicked, uh, selected, and disabled. And if you have uh, if you have any of those in there, it will actually cut uh, cut those out specifically, and again produce retina ones if you so needed to. So if I click on cut all assets, 
Again, you'll see that it actually did the procedure twice without us having to put ats at the end of each of these. And if we dive into our assets, so we've got my button normal, we've got my button hover, and we've got the my button that we created earlier on. So that's all there. So again, um, cut and slice me, particularly when you're working with a web app and you've mocked it up and you're really, really happy with how it's looking, but then you want to kind of take out some specific elements without having to worry about uh, kind of cutting and pasting uh, specific sizes and then getting it ready for retina. Cut and slice me is a huge time saver. Thank <laughs> you.